lovelies welcome back to the channel so if you are new here my name is Bridget and on this channel I do a lot of DIY natural um, hair care videos you know show you all how to grow your hair using your own uh, ingredients in your kitchen and I also do a lot of protective hairstyle videos for kids so consider subscribing if you are not yet subscribed to this channel and you're gonna be loving it here so guys in today's video I'm going to show you all this super amazing conditioner which has a lot of benefit a lot of nutrients a lot of important ingredients which can literally solve most or all of your hair problems like this conditioner is just so amazing it has pack it has a lot of uh, beneficial ingredients which are really really good for the hair and also for the scalp so the first ingredient on the list is aloe vera aloe vera you all know is really good for the hair and for the scalp it helps to condition and to strengthen the hair follicles and also helps uh, also with the scalp health so i'm just going to take a little bit of aloe vera and i'm just going to blend everything and show you all what it looks like yeah and then the second ingredient also um at the seeds at the herbs and this clip this footage was taken like two years ago and i'm just showing you all because i have everything already in a, in a, in a jar but i'm just going to be showing you all the seeds and the herbs i use using all this fenugreek seed, curry seed, neem, amla, moringa. I'm just going to be putting everything on the screen and these are everything I use. So I just blended them. The ones which I'm supposed to blend like the fenugreek seed and all of the other seed. I just blended everything. But if you have gone fenugreek seed that you can use, the amla is dried and blended and yeah i'm just going to mix everything i'm just going to be showing you all on the video so just keep on watching and see every um ingredients i use to making this conditioner After sorting out the herbs, I'm just going to put the aloe vera into the blender and then I'm going to use my uh, herbal mix this is what it looks like this is two years later and this thing is still intact like i've been using it bit by bit i just take just like um, one tablespoon of it and then i just add it into my conditioner but today i'm blending it together with the aloe vera just because i really want to have a smooth consistency i want everything to be well blended together with water or together with the aloe vera juice I'm 
so guys after blending i'm just going to use this cheesecloth to strain out the the juice but i realized that um it was really everything was really blended into a smooth paste so i decided to just use everything like after blending this is what the paste looks like so it is it's going to be a waste for me to throw this away because it is really smooth i can literally put this on my hair and wash it out with water in about five to ten five minutes and um, i'll be done washing this out of my hair because it is really smooth so i just decided to put everything back into the water like i'll just be using everything So I'm just going to be using one of these conditioner. This one is a Herba Essence um, conditioner and I have the one in the jar. I also have this Cantu deep treatment mask which is amazing and I also have this Herba Essences uh, conditioner. But I've used the Herba Essences, the one in the pink container and also the Cantu but this is the first time I'm using this Herba Essences in the jar. So I'm just going to see how the conditioner works. And I got this one here in Sweden for like $10. I know conditioners are really expensive here in Sweden compared to the prices in the US, which is really annoying. Like we literally pay like two or three, or three times uh, compared to what others are paying in the US, which is really annoying and guys. So that is why most of the times I just decide to make my own DIY conditioner sometimes. I just use um, avocado and some other um, ingredients for my conditioner. Of course, you need these ones to add moisture, especially if you have low porosity hair, guys. In fact, low porosity hair or not low porosity hair, if you are a natural, um, you need moisture. And all of these other um, ingredients are just there to add strength into your hair. But you need conditioner. Like, that is what I realized. If you keep using all these herbs, without conditioning your hair, hair is going to be dry and it's going to break. So you must add conditioners to your to, to your regimen. Like let's not <laughs> shy away from the truth. Conditioners are really, really important for your hair to be moisturized, soft and you know, all that stuff. So and adding oils, oh, they will just literally change your your hair game. Adding oils into your conditioners. This 2023 should be a must. Like adding oils into my conditioner, I realized that my hair still stays super soft and hydrated throughout the week. Like this is not a joke. I just so much love um, this method. So this is what the conditioner looks like, super creamy. And I'm just going to show you all how I apply this on my hair. My hair was washed. My hair was washed, guys. I'm just I'm going to be honest. Like for the past three months. I had a bad protein um, damage on my hair. Protein dealt with me. Like seriously, I had protein damage. So I've been trying to get my hair back to that um, to that um, healthy state. And thank God, I'm finally getting there. I started um, I started to clarify my hair every week. And today I finally realized that, okay, I'm done with the clarifying shampoo. So I just decided to do this treatment to add strength into my hair. And I believe my hair is getting back. But that protein thing dealt with me, guys. My hair was breaking and shedding like crazy. At first, I didn't realize it was protein overload. But guys, I am just so annoyed. <laughs> I am just so angry. You know, I have low porosity hair. So I don't know how it happened, but because I use this conditioner, this red can, red can has protein. I didn't know that my hair, um, I thought I was just, okay, doing a regular protein treatment, but I did not know that my hair already had enough protein. So me adding protein into my hair, that conditioner was just a no, no, but of course I did, which really, really damaged my hair. I'm just trying to, <laughs> the front of my hair god but of course his hair is going to go this 2023 i really want to mean i really want to 
preserve all the inches i'll be going this year like this year i am in for this natural hair game <laughs> i've been lazy like i am a lazy natural seriously maybe some people don't know but i am really really lazy when it comes to my hair yeah trust me but i'm just going to i make sure that this year i'm going to be serious with my hair routine and regimen so and i also make sure to you know fish out single strand knots which really dealt with, with with me when i when i experienced the protein overload protein overload came with single strand knot guys that thing is the devil single strand knot are not your friend like trust me <laughs> so i'm just going to apply the conditioner on my hair and mind you this is a deep treatment mask not a leave-in conditioner so when you do this you put on the shower cap on your hair and then you can condition your hair either with heat or you can leave this to sit on your hair for like one or two hours and then you wash it out you apply your leave-in conditioner and also you can style your hair or stretch your hair and stuff like that yeah so guys thank you all for watching and see you in my next video have a blessed day bye